Okay, in this example, uh, we're shown the graph of a polynomial function. And by looking at the end behavior of the polynomial function, uh, we want to determine the sign of the leading coefficient of the polynomial function, even though we're not given the formula uh, for the polynomial function. So if we look at the end behavior um, of this polynomial function, uh, we can see that um, uh, this graph rises um, on the far um, right, um, by the far right I mean to the right of all the turning points uh, on the graph, um, and the graph also rises on the far left, and again by far left I mean uh, to the left of all of the turning points um, on the graph of the polynomial function. So if we look um, at the table of possible end behaviors uh, for polynomial functions, which I have written here, uh, then we can see the function g matches uh, this first case. And that's the case uh, where the uh, degree uh, of the polynomial function is even and the leading uh, coefficient is positive. Uh, polynomial functions where the degree is even and the uh, leading coefficient is, are, is positive will rise on the far uh, right and they'll also rise on the far uh, left. So uh, this tells us then that uh, our function g um, must have uh, even degree uh, but more importantly uh, for this problem it must have a positive uh, leading coefficient. Uh, so we can deduce uh, from the end behavior of the graph of our polynomial function that the leading coefficient um, is positive.